Hi VFX people, I'm Shamu and this is a warning. Yeah, a warning! Because we are getting a bit technical and a bit boring. Since we are talking about presets and preset scope. Uh, I'm loading the Ninja Tools level. Oh, thank you Samuel. And let's have a look at the content browser. Uh, as you could see, here is this input folder and this is the place where we keep presets. Presets are basically uh, simulation parameters and input parameters for the fluid simulation. Um, ninja flow presets, ninja fields presets, and fluid ninja presets. Now, uh, the placement of a preset file, which is technically uh, a data table in the content browser, is influencing the scope. It is influencing what the given preset file is uh, sensing as input. Uh, let me show you how it works. So I'm going full screen and here's the belonging infographics on the third page of the introduction and also in the manual a detailed description on the topic. So um, have a look at this section please. D. Preset placement. Uh, the higher you place a preset in, the, in this hierarchy, the more input data it could sense. And I'm providing you two examples, this preset placement example 1 and 2. Let me just jump into Ninja and load those examples here. Preset placement example 1 is placed high in the hierarchy, closer to the project root. And if I'm picking this roll down menu, density from bitmap, you could see a long list of possible inputs. Let me just pick uh, my favorite, crumple. Yep. The thing is that crumple as a bitmap, as a texture is located somewhere under the root folder, but it is definitely in a subfolder of this preset placement example file which is placed in the root. Now, if I pick preset placement example 2 and I go to the same place, density from bitmap, the list is almost empty. There is only just one single entity here. And it's, this means that this preset is not sensing the possible list of inputs. Uh, let me just quit Ninja and have a look where these preset files are. Okay, probably uh, one of them is in the project root. Fluid presets, input. Aha, uh -huh, preset placement. So as you could see, the file is located in the input, in the root of the input folder. While the other one, the one with the limited scope, is located in the input per fluid presets per misc. Mm -hmm. Now what's the difference? The difference is that this present placement example 2 is located at the very bottom of this hierarchy and only those files are visible for it that are placed nearby in the same folder while its brother, the present placement example 1 is located high in the hierarchy and it sees all the subfolders. Now what is this silly nonsense? Why are we doing this? As basically to avoid cross-referencing. Normally I would expect you to place your presets, that the things that you are developing, in named subfolders and the referenced assets for example, a cascade particle for a fluid simulation as input should be placed nearby. And a different preset is in a different folder and it is referencing a different bitmap or a different uh, cascade particle system. So it's basically uh, to avoid mm, that, that the possibility that two presets are referencing the same particle system. Imagine the situation that you're modifying a particle system to get a satisfactory result and then your other presets is getting screwed up. So um, this is uh, basically to avoid this situation. 
Well, um, some might like it, some might not, but this is the system I have came up with. Again, uh, to avoid these cross-references. Another thing worth to mention is preset naming. Uh, suppose that you would like to uh, create a new preset. Yeah, I'm going to Fluid Ninja, here is this flower thing. I'm doing uh, some modification, like uh, I'm changing the strength or the color or something, something else. Yeah, I give some rotation to this field. Yeah, that would be nice. And suppose I would like to save this preset now, and I uh, click on the duplicate, and as you could see, um, this dialog window is already providing the necessary components, prefixes and suffixes. All you have to do is just to modify the last part of the name. Flower color, let's say flower color rotating. And I save it. And here we go, it is already loaded in the list on using this name. And next time it will be here. And as you could see, it is only the last part of the name which is uh, appearing in this list. Let me just go back to this intro and pick that one. As you could see uh, in the example, we have prefixes and module names and it's only the last part of the present name that is appearing in the list. But still, once you are in a dialog window, you have to type in all these. But it's already pre-typed, so basically you just have to approve it. Oh. Okay, basically this was the painful suffering that I was and Shamu was talking about and a bit boring, but still you need to know this. Thank you for your patience and next time we are going to do something more exciting. See you!